On this episode, I'm going to talk about haircuts. Specifically, of course, where can I get a haircut? Well, I'm here to tell you in Japan, there are just so many haircut places. Um, in my rural city, I mean, I could probably walk to about 10 of them just within a few kilometer radius. There's just so many. Um, there's different types of haircut places. The place I usually go, super dirt cheap. Uh, a cut is 10 bucks which is a great price. And of course, in Japan, there's no tipping, so it's fantastic. It really is just a 10 bucks. Now, what does that include? That includes a trim, a, uh, you know, pretty much that's it. Yeah, just a trim, like a, a trim, a cut, etc. But if you do want like your facial hair, like shaved off, if you go to like a real barber, they, they use a razor, a very nice long uh, razor, and they just shave it off. It feels really nice. Um, I would definitely not do it at home myself because razor face, yeah, it's like an accident waiting to happen. But they're professionals, they do an awesome job. Um, they also shampoo, etc. if that's something that you want. But if you just want a haircut, specify just haircut up front. Or else they'll just assume you want the whole package. Now, I usually afterwards they give you this nice hot towel to put on your face great um, obviously when they give you the haircut they they throw this plastic sheet over you so you don't get hair all over you and at the end they hair dry your hair so you know to get all the little bits and pieces of hair out and then they dust you off right um, the place I usually go for 10 bucks I mean I'm in and out within maybe 15 20 minutes I try to go when there's not many people around so you know 2 3 p.m. you know not gonna you know not, not too many people uh, if you do go on a weekend expect it to be pretty crowded because that's most of the time where when people actually get their haircuts done um, now they had like a small waiting room too usually they'll have some type of manga um, this place the, even the cheap place they had manga so you know you can read something or you know play with your phone etc until it's your turn um, the more expensive places are more like full package. What I mean by that is one, let's do, I'll just be honest with you, there's much better looking um, haircut tory person. I don't even know what you call that, but basically the person who, got, who cuts your hair looks a lot better. They look actually pretty hot to be honest with you. Um, these are like full on salons, there's no like no, you can't say, oh, I don't want a shampoo. No, they, they, it's all inclusive, right? So well, I've been to them, they're awesome. Um, they're just a little more expensive. They start around $30 and maybe $40 for just a haircut. But what that includes is they, they, they wet your hair, they shampoo it at the beginning, the hair, they dry it, and then they style your hair to, you know, more, more elegantly, like they have magazines, etc., so you can choose from. Um, they're definitely better. Um, they do a better job, but once again, it is expensive. Um, but like I said, you get the shampoo. You also get a mini massage. Like they kind of like massage your, your your shoulders a little bit, right? Not not like a like a full on body massage or anything like that. Uh, but I mean, it is something. And you can chit chat with them and they have this nice long mirror and some magazines. It's, it's definitely more posh. You know, I don't even know what that, specifically what that word means, but I'm guessing it's like cool or whatever. Anyways, if you're a girl or I, I'm sure you're gonna be more um, used to going to like a hair salon, uh, but if you just want a quick and dirty haircut, definitely you can go to the cheap places. Usually they have this like old school barber logo, like they have that red and white red and white kind of going up which is pretty cool um, one thing you want to stress though whenever you go to the haircut uh, place is that you don't want them to thin out your hair as much uh, a lot of Japanese people have really thin hair like they just they make it really thin it's not very thick so you want to specify up front exactly what you want to the length to be you know do you want it really short etc uh, or you can always be like omakase which means up to you, man. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I've done that and I've had mixed results. So your miles may vary. Um, 
So this was just a quick video about haircuts in Japan. If you have any questions down below, I hope I answered most of your questions. If not, let me know and I will do another video, no problem. Uh, if you have any questions about anything else in Japan, about my other videos, you know, just let me down, down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good one. Bye.